Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. It's Brianna and in this week's video, I'm gonna tell you all about my hair, what's my hair care routine, things that I do to keep it healthy and not get split ends, how long I've been growing it for. I just wanna make a disclaimer here that I am not a hair care professional. Everything I'm telling you is from my own experience and experiments and just like what I've learned over the years. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First thing I wanna say is hair, skin, nails, everyone's different and it's all based on genetics. So obviously I can't give you like a miracle pill to get hair exactly like mine. Your hair is not going to grow this long overnight but i can give you guys tips on like how to keep it healthy and so that is what this video is going to be based on so i've been growing out my hair for the last seven to eight years i've been growing it out since the fifth grade because i had a really bad bob so i just vowed to never cut it and just did like cuts and trims at my house i never really styled it or got it layered or dyed i've been doing six to eight inch cuts just to get rid of any dead or split ends that I might get, which is totally normal by the way. No one has like absolutely perfect hair. Like they're obviously going to get some damage. So that's why it's important to cut it and to get trimmed. So I do trims throughout the years, but I do a big cut of like six to eight inches. And I actually did one two months ago, which was basically in March. So I actually wash my hair once a week because that's when I notice it actually getting oily. I feel like my hair doesn't get that oily that quickly, especially if you don't like touch your hair that often because then you're just like stimulating oil. So I will say my bangs probably get the oiliest because I'm always pushing them out of my face. Now, how do I actually wash my hair? So these are the products that I use. They're by OGX and it's the Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco Shampoo and the Nourishing Coconut Milk Conditioner. So these are two different OGX lines and obviously it's best to get the matching shampoo and conditioner of either or but I just find that this combination works best for me so this is what I use. So both argan oil and coconut oil are really good for your hair in my opinion. I've done my own research about it. You guys should always go out and do your own. I'll leave some links in the description box of research articles that I follow the findings of so that is why I believe argan oil and coconut oil are good for your hair and that's why I use both this shampoo and this conditioner together but now I'm going to tell you guys how I wash my hair. So I always brush my hair before getting into the shower just to get rid of any tangles and so it's like a lot easier to deal with while it's wet. I usually wash my hair with lukewarm water because I find extremely hot water makes it frizzy and then extremely cold water doesn't really do anything for me. So just wash it in regular temperature water, whatever you're comfortable with. And then the amount of shampoo that I use is about three lines worth. So if you put shampoo along the three lines of your finger, that is about how much I use. So I like to scrub my hair vertically or horizontally you don't want to wash in circles and i know you probably see that a lot in like movies or like other videos but you really don't want to like scrub in circles especially if you're using your hands because that is what is going to create tangles and breakage and i leave my shampoo in for about five minutes before rinsing it out so when it comes to conditioner i like to use about four finger lines worth so i do two lines for my scalp and two lines for the ends of my hair i like to leave my conditioner in for six to eight minutes just to really ensure that i've added moisture back to my hair after shampooing and i really like this conditioner because it contains coconut oil which not only adds moisture like I said but it also gives my hair a really healthy shine afterwards. I don't really focus on the middle of my hair because when you rinse any product from your scalp it will travel down the rest of your hair so that is why you don't actually need to use a lot of hair product so it saves you time and it saves you money. And your hair is most prone to breakage while it is wet so I use a 100% cotton shirt just to draw the moisture out of my hair and that's just what I'm doing here. I'm just being really gentle with it because I don't want to cause any breakage or split ends and I never dry my hair with a towel because the material is just really abrasive and bad for your hair and when your hair is tangled after a shower which is inevitable I use a wet brush because the bristles are a lot more flexible and soft so that is mainly how I try to prevent breakage while my hair is wet and after in the shower so I usually blow dry my hair about 60% of the way I don't use any other heat on it otherwise I rarely rarely curl it and I don't straighten it either I usually just try to blow dry it my scalp so it'll appear more voluminous and then I usually just like leave the rest of it to dry naturally so I use two different hair oils just based on the season. Just like your skin, your hair is gonna have different needs in the summer versus the winter. So in the winter, I like to use Extra Strength Coconut Miracle Oil by OGX. I'm realizing now that all my hair care products are by OGX and I just wanna make a disclaimer that this video is not sponsored or gifted by them. I guess I just really like their products. <laughs> and you can see that a lot of this is used because we're just coming off of winter where I am. So when I've gotten out of the shower and my hair has dried a little bit, I use about a quarter size of this oil. I'll warm it up between my fingers and I'll just comb it through the bottom half of my hair and then I usually just let my hair air dry the rest of the way. In this video I'm using the Argan Oil of Morocco because it is spring summer now. This comes in a spray bottle so I use about three to five sprays and again I just do this post shower on damp hair. And to passively take care of your hair I would suggest using silk products. So this is a silk scrunchie that I try to use over traditional hair ties just because it's softer and more gentle for your hair. And then I also like to use a silk pillowcase. You guys have probably seen this every single time I make my bed. I just got a few off of Amazon and I just changed them several times throughout 
throughout the week and the reason why silk is better than cotton for your hair is because it doesn't draw moisture out of your hair so it'll keep your hair more hydrated and looking softer and i find that it helps a lot with frizz so guys that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching if you made it this far i hope it was educational and answered some of your questions that you guys are always asking me so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one